the Persian king Cyrus chose a purple tunic as his royal uniform. Roman emperors forbade anyone from wearing purple clothes under the penalty of death. The rulers of the Byzantine Empire wore flowing purple robes and signed their edicts in purple ink. And their children were lovingly described as being born in the purple. Queen Elizabeth I forbade anyone except members of the royal family from wearing purple. Because these kings and queens were seen as gods or descendants of gods, their exclusive right on purple gave purple the meaning of not just royalty but also of spirituality and holiness. And that's why some priests and popes in history sometimes wore purple too. So what's the deal with purple? And not any other colour. Or any colour at all for that matter. The real reason actually is really, really simple. And it has nothing to do with spirituality or royalty, but simply plain market-level economics, supply and demand. You see, the only natural source of the colour purple was the sea snail found in the Tyre region, which is now in modern-day Lebanon. To harvest purple out of this Mediterranean snail was a long, labour-intensive process. The dye makers had to crack open the snail's shell, extract the mucus and expose it to sunlight for a specific amount of time. It took nearly 10,000 poor snails to produce just one gram of purple dye. So yeah, pretty expensive. Clothes made from this dye were ultimately so expensive that a pound of purple wool cost more than what most people earned in a whole year. That's why purple could only be afforded by the ultra, ultra, ultra rich and it came to be worn to show power and status. In a price edict dating 301 AD from the reign of the Roman Emperor Diocletian, we learn that one pound of purple dye cost 150,000 denarii, which is around three pounds of gold, which is roughly $54,000 today. So understandably, sometimes even kings held themselves back from their shopping wish list. The most famous case being when Roman Emperor Aurelian refused to let his wife buy a shawl made from Tyrian purple silk because it literally cost its weight in gold. And that's why you also don't see purple on flags or even in classical paintings. Because it was simply too expensive to be used for these purposes. However, purple lost its royal status when its first synthetic dyes hit the market in the 1850s. So, in 1856, an 18-year-old English chemist, William Henry Perkin, accidentally created a synthetic purple compound when he was working to synthesize quinine, which is an anti-malarial drug. When he realized that the compound that he had created could be used to dye fabrics, he patented it, manufactured it, and lived a royally rich life. And that's the story of purple and its fall from royalty to rags. Which other colour in history also was so expensive that you don't often see it in paintings or clothing? Comment below. And if you love floods and myths, click here.